Good morning, queens. Welcome back to a daily vlog. It is very early. I literally just woke up. This is the first vlog in the new house. It's so exciting. Um, no, the bed's not made. It's not even together. But I'm going to show you lots of things, lots of updates today. Oh, look at that light. It's beautiful. It is Tuesday. And we have a few things to do. Oh, I do have some new products I want to show you. You know, I don't try a bunch of new makeup, but um, I do have a few, maybe like two or three new things. So I won't do like a whole get ready with me, but I'll show you like the new things that I really like. What else? I have a few <laughs> new bags to show. These are bags I've accumulated over like the last few months and I just haven't felt comfortable doing like unboxings and stuff like that. So I figured I'll just show them in today's video. And I'll update you on like house stuff, of course. I wanna show you um, the studio and the closet. They're both not done, they're not even closed, but um, I'll show you the updates of that. So I think that's everything. First, we're gonna go get a coffee and then we're gonna like start the day and get ourselves uh, together. Oh, I wanna show you my coffee mug. <laughs> Super random, I know. Um, but it's amazing, it's literally changed my life. So first, let's go get coffee. Okay, we are in the kitchen and I'm gonna make a coffee. Um, so if you've been watching my vlogs, you know I always drink iced coffee. <laughs> and that's because I hated the idea of hot coffee not staying hot. So I found an answer. Maybe I'm late to the game, I don't know. Um, but I found this little mug from Ember and it keeps your coffee like hot, you can set a temperature and it keeps it hot all day. Um, I charge it every night, it has a little charging station. I've had it for a week and I've drank hot coffee every day and it's just been game changing. Every sip is just mm, nice and hot. It's, it's almost okay. Hot. So my coffee is in there. I'm gonna pour my creamer in and then I'm gonna set my temperature. Um, but it's telling me right now that it's at well, that's my temperature, I haven't said. So it's at 157 right now, degrees, um, because it obviously just went in there. So of course that will cool down, but I keep mine at 137. So right now it's telling me that it's like taking the temperature down to 137. It's amazing. So I just wanted to share. This isn't a coffee ad, but <laughs> it's made such an impact in my life. So I just wanted to share. So let's get ourselves ready. Coffee is so good. Um, I'm gonna be trying some new skincare today. So this portion of the vlog is sponsored by Blue. It is a skincare brand. Look at this. Ah. They're extra just like me. I love it. Uh, so today I'm gonna try, well I have three products that I've been using, um, but I'm gonna try their face mask. This is the Glacial Oceanic clay mask she's basically a jewel and we're gonna give her a try i really like these two products i've been using one is a toner uh the glacial mineral toner and then the hydrating glacial moisturizing emulsion she's thick you know i like that super creamy um love the pump just just good things and these are weighty as far as just like the packaging if you're like a packaging kind of girl just fyi we're gonna give the mask a try today because i haven't tried that yet and i'll let you know what i think and i have like two breakouts right now i have the kind that are like under the skin you know like i don't break out often but on flows in town it's a lot happening blue is a canadian skincare brand Super cute packaging, everything seems to be like a teal type of color. It is cruelty free, paraben free, so it only has the good stuff. It smells, doesn't have a strong scent. It smells very clean. That's really the only um, way I can describe it. Sorry, I gotta get close, I don't have my glasses on. 
Okay, just cleaned my face. What I liked about this, it's a detoxifying clay mask, but it didn't get like hard and like, you know, really like can't move your face. It didn't get like that. I feel actually dry at all. So, let's sit you back down. Okay, so I'm gonna finish with these two products before we do makeup, the toner, and the moisturizer, which I love the moisturizer. Um, the toner's good too, I just, some people are toner people, some people aren't. Um, but I do want to show you in case you're a toner person. I prefer to just drop toners in my hand and kind of like pat it in my face. I've heard that's better for your skin. So that's what I'm doing. And just kind of like push it into the skin. I just try not to rub my skin with that much stuff. Because um, I use like cotton pads already. I feel like a good amount so whenever I can kind of like minimize the rubbing um I do so then there's the emulsion just take some like that it, uh, but this is super hydrating don't worry we're gonna get to the hair <laughs> uh, okay but again details will be below links will be below if I can get you a coupon code that will be below <laughs> Everything will be below. Moving on. Um, let's go get ready. If you're wondering, I took a shower last night, so don't you worry. So here is the current status of my closet. So um, one of the units we moved, these two, are new that we bought um, because again I wanted to expand my handbags and shoes so that I could see everything it just helps me get dressed easier now I had um, three four three or four of these units um, at the apartment we moved two um, and then two broke um, because mine were old I had so two of my units broke. I've had these for a very long time. Um, like I think the first apartment me and Josh had together, he bought me um, these for like a birthday. So I've probably had them for like seven years and I've already moved them once. So mine were just old. It was time for new ones. Um, so we brought the drawers and like shelves and all of the kind of like pricier things so that we could just buy new units and put them in there. Cause the like actual out, like the actual, box or you know structure is like a hundred dollars a piece so it's pretty affordable um but like it's the all the add-ons that cost the most so um uh, but ikea is out of stock of everything <laughs> they had all of the like um shallow units so that's why i was able to get the handbags and chew all up um but the deep ones have been out of stock i check every week so this is where we are um until everything comes back in stock so this is the closet so far, but um, I'll kind of walk you through my ideas for this room. Let's get some focus going. Okay, so there's only gonna be one more unit there because I really didn't need four since all the shoes were over here. So um, this will be, I wanted to see how that bar looked, but I don't like it. So we're gonna do the drawers. Um, there and then there'll be one more unit of hanging and maybe drawers I'm not exactly sure and then I am going to do um, some type of island situation in the middle of the floor because again I don't need this room to actually film like I may film in here sometimes but I don't need just a big open space to film anymore so um, I'd like to just have as much storage as possible. So I'm going to do maybe like two dressers from Ikea and make them into um, an island situation for like accessories and stuff, scarves, jewelry, all that stuff. And then I'm going to do a mirror here. And then I'm going to do um, a little chair here. I already found the perfect one. It's like a kind of like a swivel. It's like a little chair. It's kind of like um, I think it's boucle. Um, fabric just so I can like sit stuff on when I walk in this room um, and then here are my handbags a few things missing because I'm outfit planning and then this is where I have um, my coats and then 
just like extra in-season things um, that don't fit on the wall. Anything that's not fall, winter is in another closet, like in storage. Um, and then this bathroom, again, I just use to do my hair. So this is where, you know, like it just gets messy and I just keep all my stuff, wash my makeup brushes here, like all the girly things that like wash my face mask here, beauty blenders, all that stuff. Um, <laughs> and then coming back through here is my studio filming area. I've got my self esteemer. Um, this is my rack. This is what I'm going to be shooting today. Um, this is kind of where my extra clothes are right now. All of this will go into the units whenever they come. But then this is like my summer stuff up there. Um, and then I'm keeping like equipment and stuff in here too. Once all the clothes are gone, I'll get some probably like actual storage, like with shelving and stuff. This mirror I found at an antique shop. Um, still last few clothes that need to go away. And then this, I also found at an antique shop. So this is where I do my makeup. Um, and that's pretty much the room. I ordered <clears throat> a sofa to go here from CB2 and it should be actually here this week. So there'll be a sofa here and I'm going to try to hang that mirror up right above it. And then I also got little side tables there too, because basically this room is for creating. It's for like actually doing my job. So the goal is to have like little vignettes around the room that I can take pictures in, that I can shoot content in, that I can like film videos in. So, okay. So for the beauty things, well, first let me show you <laughs> these two things that I got specifically for my vanity um, and to just like be storage, but be pretty things to look at. Um, both are from Fashion File, of course, um, because that's just the place I trust and I like it. It's easy and it's easy to shop. It's just a good experience. Um, and I keep, basically I have it kind of organized. I keep my base products in here. So um, foundation, concealer, primers basically are in here it's not super full but that's what's in here and then in this one I keep my like little powders just like setting powder bronzer and blush is what's in here and then I keep brushes pencils eyebrow stuff in here and when I tell you I can get ready in like I mean I was always like pretty quick at getting ready but I can get like a, a full beat in like 20 minutes because I'm not digging for anything like Everything is right here to start, and then next, everything is right here, and then my brushes are right there. So, so efficient. Um, but for favorites, um, you guys know I always love the NARS um, Longwear, Radiant Longwear, New Caledonia. Still love that, but I also love, which they actually kind of look the same. The Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear, which I know this is not new or anything, but I just hadn't tried it. And I really, ooh, yeah, I really like it. I'm in shade, what shade am I in? What's your shade? Oh, 530 Suede. Suede? 530? No, 530? S-U-E-C? I don't know. 530. That's my shade. Um, and it just reminds me a lot of the NARS, um, as a matte finish, maybe more of a matte finish, but very nice. I like it, like it a lot. Two new, like, obsessions are these two. The Bobbi Brown Mineralized, no, the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I have only heard two people talk about these. Um, and I, I've wanted to try them for so long. It's just one of those things I just never got around to. I was, was like replacing something and I just like, eh, I didn't know if I really needed it. I always heard um, Nicole Guerrero talk about this. Like she used it religiously and it just always looks so creamy when she would put it on and nice. Um, and then Melissa's wardrobe on Instagram talked about this. And Bobby Brown actually sent it to me. And I was like, oh, I always wanted to try this. It is amazing. Sorry if you can hear 
there's still construction around here but it is so good like this is a primer but it's also a moisturizer and nicole would always say that but i don't know why i didn't believe her <laughs> um but it's so creamy leaves your face flawless feels so hydrating so i just want to share um god what is wrong with me so I just wanted to share those two and also something I've been doing is color correcting lately with this Maybelline Master Camo little pen. Um, it has like a little sponge on this side and I've just been doing it around my mouth because hyperpigmentation, discoloration, you know, all that jazz. Um, so when I'm like taking pictures and I just want like a super flawless finish, I put this on kind of like in the dark spots and like I have like a little dark spot there and it's been working well. I think that's it for new things. Oh, there are some new lashes I've been wearing, which are affordable. Um, Ilor Lux Silk in the Marquise Silk Effect. They're in the bathroom because I had them on yesterday. But um, these are really nice. They're from Target and affordable. I think that's everything which is only three things, <laughs> but hey. Okay, so I'm back. It's a few hours later. Oh, sorry, the light. Um, it's several hours later. Um, the day just got a hold of me. I did some work, had to respond to some emails. Um, I had to run some errands, I had to go to the bank. A lot happened. I'm back home. We moved um, shooting, the shoot I was gonna do from today to tomorrow, so no behind the scenes of that. <sighs> Um, that's not going to happen. But um, before I go, I did say we were going to do a little, I'll show you some new things that I got. <laughs> these are not unboxings or anything because I've had these things for a while, but I haven't vlogged and I don't know if they've been in videos. So um, I'm just going to show them to you here. Um, the first thing uh, is this hat. I know I showed already. I just had to put this on so I could look decent like running my errands because it's gonna officially be just a no makeup kind of day. Um, but second are these shoes. Let me flip you around and show you. So these are the shoes. They are from, oh, not the real real. They are from Bottega Veneta. I bought them um, on Farfetch. And yeah, this is them. I think they're called, um, the tire boots and these are the same boots from um they had last year they just came out with different colorways and i really liked um the brown and black combination i wanted something <laughs> here i am i wanted um, another option for my prada boots because you know i still love those um and i found that i wore them so much last year that i wanted another option so hopefully you can um, see me good. Oh, there's the boots. I know they're huge. Um, I have them propped up on a chair in a box. So hopefully you can see me good. Okay. Again, I did not want to do any unboxings because again, I just don't feel comfortable doing unboxings right now. Um, but I know for all of my Lux lovers out there, you guys like to know handbags and <laughs> the few that I have shown on like Instagram or taking pictures with people are like, wait a minute, where did that come from? So that's the point of today's video or this part of the video. So first up is this. Um, this is the Denim Rock Stud by Valentino. And if you watch my LA vlog, <laughs> which is like one of my favorite vlogs because I was just so happy there um i tried this on in the outlet and i loved it and i really wanted a denim bag um but i knew i could find it cheaper i think the outlet still had it for like 1700 and i was like it's still too pricey it's just too pricey like i have had rock studs before you know i have the black one with the white writing i know i can get that bag for like 13 1400 dollars not paying 17. So I didn't get it and I was searching for it ever since. That was in February. Then I found it on Fashion File, of course, but it took months. I mean, I just found it, I think, last month and they had it for 13 something. So I was thrilled. 
And then um, this bag is something I'm doing with, this is a Marc Jacobs in shot bag, something shot, power shot bag. I can't remember, but it is so cute. I saw this last year and I thought it was cute. And I'm working with Bloomingdale's on an Instagram thing um, where basically I just get to pick things that I think you guys would like. Um, and I'm doing a lot of home stuff, but I saw this bag and I was like, oh, that is a great bag. It's a great price point and really good quality. So, and I always like liked it every time I saw it. And I really liked this colorway. It's kind of like a taupe. Yeah. But then it has white at the top. And then I wear crossbodies a lot in the fall and winter. So I really liked the strap detail. Super cute. I didn't have anything like it. So really happy about that one. The biggest shocker <laughs> is probably going to be this. This is the Bottega Veneta mini Jody bag in this like stunning neon green yellow color. Um, I put a little bright here. There we go. Uh, that's better. Um, so this was a super impulsive purchase. I've never, I've talked about Bottega Veneta before. I mean, <laughs> I have on the boots and now I have the bag um, and I love the brand but I was just never felt I like to find what's right for me just because it's trending doesn't mean it's right for me so um, I never saw a bag that I just had to have until I saw this one um, when I saw this color I was just like wow um, I got this from Farfetch Farfetch um, and I paid for it. It wasn't like gifted or part of any collaboration. I just literally had to have it. So that's that. And then today, what we were waiting on earlier, um, I bought from Fashion File. And when I tell you, I love this bag. Are you dying? Are you dying? It's a mini puzzle. You guys know, oh my God, look how cute it is. Um, I got the colorful puzzle. I popped up a picture a few months ago and I've had the puzzle bag on my wish list for a few years. I just couldn't, I just, it was never the right color. Again, I just wasn't going to get it until it was the right one. And then when I got that bright colorful one, it was perfect. But then I realized how much I just really enjoyed that bag. Um, it's just so easy. It's so carefree. It makes an impact, but it's not like too flashy. It's just so nice. Like I, I still want another one in that size that I have, the bigger size, and more of a, like a fall neutral type of color. Um, so I always have like, there's like certain searches I have in Fashion File that I just always go back to and Puzzle is one of them. I always just check any new in puzzles. <laughs> when I saw this one, I just thought it was so cute. Um, yeah, so that's that. Literally it just came, it just came today. <laughs> I just, um, got it from the porch um, so yeah it's black white and then taupe so perfect for fall I can't wait to wear with like black because you know black's my favorite color but um I think that's everything so for my handbag lovers this part of the video was for you anything I can link I will link as far as like the bags or if I can find some on fashion file or any other site um, I will link all the details from Blue, the skincare we tried earlier, and like my favorites, the things that I liked. I'm pretty sure I have a code or discount. I will put it right here. Um, and again, make sure you check them out. I will have everything linked below. I think that's everything. Thanks for stopping by. See ya!